Hey, Shalom, I want to set off souls by giving no praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by the Apostle of Great Mosul, and on it, he brought us in the work of the most sound truth and in sincerity. Yahweh, his real name of him, the Lord ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh, his real name is Yahweh, and his son's true name is Yahweh Shai. And when we pray, we pray Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by meaning in, by meaning the Shah, meaning names, Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai. So, quick one. Um, because basically right now in the world you've got all of these different distractions, right? Which is uh, why one of the you know, first things I'm going to get second Corinthians 2.11, right? It says, let's say then to get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices now. One of the devices of this so-called white man Esau, right, the devil, is distractions, right? Here it is, you've got all of these dumb, stupid distractions that are going on in the world, you know, with actors and comedians and... You know, now with the whole thing with, um, you know, Roe v. Wade, you know, that's just all different distractions. However, when you look at what's actually going on in the world, there are very important major things that are happening in the world, right? Things that are actually more important than Dave Chappelle getting, uh, you know, attacked on stage, than, you know, Amber Heard shitting on, you know, um, Johnny Depp's uh, bed, allegedly. Right, because, uh, you know, one thing, you know, I know, you know, the elder brother here, um, you know, different I can speak on is a lot of the things that we, we see on this media, they ain't even real, right? They're all just staged and made up, right, to basically be put as a thing to basically distract people's attention, right? And that's what you're seeing at the moment. However, there is a major drought going on, Okay. This is California's new drought rules, right? Horn of Africa ravaged by worst drought in four decades, right? Barrel containing human remains found in late meat. I believe this is Las Vegas, right? And and it's funny because I, you know, I was speaking to my um, which call it to my, you know, my peoples back, you know, in the you know in the land of Ham, right? And then they were, uh, you know, they were basically telling me, right, sojourners in the land of Ham. Right, um, and they'll basically tell me how you know the crop there is is, is basically failed, right? And there's a similar story out here, and obviously we've got the whole thing with Russia and Ukraine, which that's a major um, you know exporter of wheat. Okay, Russia and Ukraine. They, uh, I believe the elder said it's something like forty-two percent. Um, elder Ariada said something like forty-two percent of the world's wheat exports come from Russia and Ukraine. Right, so things that are of actual importance. People ain't talking about whilst Esau gives them bread and circuses, okay? Because once again, that slap with Will Smith, that was a circus. Dave Chappelle getting attacked is a circus, right? These people going, you know, up, you know, going into uproar over this whole Roe v. Wade thing, that's a circus, right? Because blue states are still going to allow for, uh, 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 you know, for, you know, for these carts to kill their children. Yeah, blue states are still going to allow for that, right? So, once again, just all circuses. Right, so let's read that again. This is, let's say they should get an advantage of us, so we are not ignorant of his device. We understand what this devil is doing, right? But, however, we also understand that it's the Most High's doing, right? The Most High is ultimately in control of all, all of this. Let's grab this real quick, right? This is Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, the king's heart is in the hand of Yahweh, as rivers of water he turneth it whithersoever he will. So this devil will be like, oh, I did this, I did A, I did B, I did C. No, the most high made you do A, B, and C, right, to fulfill his purpose, okay? So we'll just talk about how, uh, let me just grab that, oh, was it 16 and 4? This is Proverbs 16 and 4, Yahweh hath made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil, right? So the Most High made Esau to basically do all of these things. Scriptures also say the wicked, which is thy sword. That was at Psalm 17, I believe, right? You know, the Lord, uh, you know, made this devil as a whooping stick for our people, right? Because our people are going off and you see them, right? The majority of people who are out there, you know, murdering their own babies in their wombs are you tribes, Okay. Now, has Esau, you know, uh, 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 you know, pushed that philosophy on you? Yes, he has. But you still did it. Okay, so both of you are guilty. Okay. So, uh, you know, so the Lord has made this devil. And this devil really thinks that he's the one in control. But when there is this drought, when there is this famine, whether it's uh, engineered, whether it's uh, natural, it doesn't matter. 
right? Because the Lord prophesied that these things were going to happen. This is real quick. It's Rock 39 and 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, right? So, you know, Christianity, so-called Christians, they make it seem like, oh, yeah, you know, the Lord, really, he's not behind anything bad. But that's contrary to what the scriptures say. Okay, scripture says in Amos 3, shall there be evil in the city, and Yahweh hath not done it, right? The Lord killeth and maketh alive, right? The Lord is in control over life and death, over any situation, over everything, right? You read uh, Sirach, the 18th chapter, and the third verse speaks about how, you know, uh, uh, all things obey his will, okay? So let's read that again. So there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out the, their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Right. So when you know you're seeing you know a, a landslide, when you're seeing people dropping dead, right? When you're seeing you know people being judged, right? The Most High is appeased with that, right? Because you know the Most High isn't about a, a wickedness, okay? But that is what happens in this world, just straight up wickedness, okay? This is fire and hell, and it's a thing and famine. Right, because it's like it's uh, getting onto a busy road, so Lord, you can still hear me. But would you, would you, would you, would you think happens when you get famine? You get uh, so when you have drought, you have famines, man. And what happens after famines? Uh, 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 hey, people start fighting each other, and just in general, death. Okay, because the people out here, you know, especially in the Western world, they don't know what it's like to go hungry. They've lived life. And they've lived, lived it good. Okay. Three meals a day with snacks. And all of that crap. Okay. They've never had to do a day of atonement type fast. Okay. Only time they've gone without eating. May have been times when they were sick. So. What is going to happen to them? The Lord is going to bring these people. Lord, you know. Scriptures talk about. You know. Humbling. The Lord is going to humble these people. Okay. So it says, um, fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance, okay? Let me grab this real quick also. This is, where is this? Let me see. This is an, uh, second as yes, the second as is um, uh, seven. We'll start from verse 24. There be many that perish in this life. No, it's not the one I want. 16, yeah, 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 that's the one. 16:22. It says, For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of what? Of famine. Right? And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And when you read Lamentations, it speaks about how you know people uh, who perish of famine. Basically, they're worse than they that perish by the sword because it says that these pine away. Now, when you when you go into and you look into how um, you know how basically what what your body does when it's not been fed, yo, it's gruesome, man. It's absolutely gruesome because your body will basically cut uh, all the excess, and the last thing of excess is your brain. So you just suffer through that pain, man. That's why the scriptures speak about how. You know, uh, uh, you know, people shall be invading one another for lack of bread. People gonna get savage, right? Cannibalism is gonna make a comeback. Okay. So it says, yes, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. And this is a uh, reminiscent of what is this? this is um, what is it reminiscent of? Oh, Amos the third chapter, right? Amos three? Yeah, Amos three, uh, three. Three. Let me get it. I forget. Five Salakia. Yeah, Amos five. This is Amos five eighteen. Born to you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The day of Yahweh's darkness and not light. As if a man did flee from a lion and the bear met him, and went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very dark and no brightness in it? Right, it's basically going into how things are just going to be go from one situation to another situation, man. Right, things will go from, and you see it, you see it, you know, here, here it is beginning of what 2019, everything was blessed, then one calamity, and then after that, would you call it another kind of thing? Because we knew, we knew it wasn't going to end, 
we knew it was going to be something else. And then after that, what, so what, 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 the CV and then the thing in Ukraine, right? And then now you've got the famines and the droughts. And then what's next after that, right? Well, because what we're actually witnessing is a collapse of an empire, right? Collapse of this empire, okay? So, yeah, man, things, things just go and keep, things go and keep going from bad to worse, to worse, to even more worse. Right, until this whole place is control alt deleted man erased software reset factory reset okay so like I said just a quick one uh just quick walking fact let me let me just finish on this real quick right it says uh, Isaiah fifty eight eleven it says and Yao shall guide thee continue and satisfy thy soul in drought and make thy f- and make fat thy bones and thou shalt be like water garden and like a spring of water whose waters fell not right um yeah 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 so hey that's it man you know we gonna we gonna be good we gonna be good because these things ain't for us if we be those men so uh yeah yeah we'll close up hopefully i was there to find till next time say shalom